Next up at UFC 298, we have Oban Elliott taking on Val Woodburn. Oban Elliott, 9 and 2 overall, 5 and 0 in his last five. He is riding a five fight win streak into his UFC debut. He's taking on Val Woodburn, 7 and 1 in his career, 4 and 1 in his last five. That one loss is a short notice step up knockout by Bo Nickel. This is another interesting fight. This line is widening. And I get it, right? If you only know Val Woodburn from his last fight, then he was knocked out by a wrestler. I get it. But the reality is Val Woodburn is a powerful striker. He did step up on short notice. He was knocked out by Bo Nickel. But if you remove that from the equation, you remove the fact that this guy stepped up on like two days notice, fought on a pay-per-view main card. Like there's a lot working against him there. He is a short, jacked powerhouse of a person. He obviously has insane power in his hands, but he does have some solid cage control. He's got some good takedown defense, and he has surprising cardio for a guy built like him as well. He's wildly dangerous. He pretty much has a solid chin, which sounds bizarre considering his last fight, but he does have a solid chin. And in his defense, Bo Nickel, again, was crazy short notice, and technically speaking, according to Bo Nickel, according to the statistics, and if you watch the fight, it was kind of a half ass attempt, but Val Woodburn did defend a takedown attempt. And he's taking on Oban Elliott. UFC debut, Oban Elliott. This guy's a well-rounded guy. He has 15 full minutes of cardio, plenty of tools in his bag. When he's striking, he wants to dance around, hang on the outside, and then he will just fire off overhands and rush in. He's fast, he's athletic, he's got some flashy spins, decent takedown defense. If he is taken down, though, he'll work right back to his feet. And then he's not going to chase submissions that aren't there. He's going to work to his feet, try to get it to the ground himself. And then he's just going to hang out and control. He has a couple of takedowns, but nothing wild sort of in his background. And they're typically from the clinch. He'll work a clinch, he'll trip, he'll push, he'll drag. Overall, pretty well-rounded guy. Not amazing anywhere, but he can grind. And this is a pretty straightforward breakdown. I've got a couple of win inside the distance decision, no action bets on this card. You can unlock those. Just go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member. This was one that I was considering because the reality is I do think Val Woodburn is a lot tougher than people give him credit for. Oban Elliott's not the most dangerous guy in the world. He's the better fighter here. He's the more well-rounded guy. He has more ways to win, but he's not dangerous. He's just loaded with decisions, even though he only has 11 fights. Val's got enough power and danger to end this fight on his end, and he is typically durable. So I do think this fight is a surprising decision type fight and if it's not a decision I think it's Val Woodburn that gets it done I am going to pick Oban because it's hard for me to pick a guy who only has one way to win so I'm going to lean towards a guy who has multiple ways to win but if we didn't learn our lesson over the last couple of weeks some of these UFC debuts are just not it even last week there was what three UFC debuts or four of them and only one like looked pretty good the rest by the skin of their teeth were getting things done so Oban Elliott, minus 310. I think he's literally the second biggest favorite on the card. I don't think he's worth that money. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Uh, yeah, I was reading that super chat. Like, what in the world is going on? <laughs> what in the world is going on there? I'll post but, it after. Yeah, I know. Um, listen, yeah, Oban Elliott is is probably the better fighter here. And he I think he has shown that he is tough, right? But what do we say? To show that you are tough shows that you have to show some toughness, which means you're probably getting hit, you're probably getting hurt. And that guy does eat some right hands. You know, he he, he eats some right hands, and Foul Woodburn can throw some fucking heat. So at minus 310, I agree, this seems crazy. If anything, it seems like the KO value is probably there, and Val already being a big underdog, um, could, as you mentioned, could, I mean, he could find a way to win a weird decision at this as well, because he he is tough, and, and Oban isn't, you know, a dangerous guy, as you mentioned as well. So uh, I'm going to Oban Elliott here, because he is the more well-rounded fighter. He's shown that he ha- he can take a shot. Right, so even if Val lands, it's not necessarily going to be you know KO. And um, he, he said before, and I, I'm pretty sure this was him. He said, "Oh, I think before his Dana White, his Kit Dennis series fight, he's like, you'll have to take me out on a box or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like, like he's that type of guy, right? I'm willing to die in there. Um, and, and he might need some of that toughness, but I think he can pull through. I'm going Oban Elliott on this, but it's not a. I'm not putting him in a parlay. I'm not you know anything like that. So actually. A small one. <laughs> I, thought, I, actually, I was like, actually, I, I do, but it's a very small one with another favorite that is like, uh, yeah, you know, could could lose a decision or something. So, I had yeah, to my bets. I hear you. I, I, you know, 
more well-rounded guy, more ways to win. It's that simple. Tough guy, as you mentioned. But, you know, I don't trust UFC debuts anymore. I was very anti-contender series fade last year. I thought that was like a stupid narrative. But then after the first couple of cards this year, they have not looked good at all. Robert Burchek, what a bum. That dude that knocked out Trevin Giles, Carlos Prates, straight up bum until he landed one good punch. Like, Zach I'm Reese. done with the, I'm done. Zach Reese, actually, Zach Reese, no, bum. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with these contender series guys in their debut fight. I, I, whoever invented the contender series fade, uh, I'm, I'm with it. I think it makes sense. Um, we are not, well, we are on the same page here, but we are not equal levels of confidence in this. What was your confidence? I think low. Well, let me check. I have it on my sheet right here. I think I might have put mine at medium. I, I, I think low. as I was talking, I think you're the one that fucked me up, honestly, because I do have him in a parlay. Go to wewontpicks.com, <laughs> uh, become a premium member, see what that is. But yeah, I think I was more confident. And I was listening to you, and I was like, oh, yeah. yeah I mean, you, you, you're you enthralling sometimes. I, yeah, quite the salesman. Um, minus 260 to minus 310. Too rich for my blood, but. $9,300 in DraftKings. You're going to spend that. He's going to have to win by finish, and Val is tough. No. And then he's not going to be grappling. He's not going to be able to take Val down. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be worth that money either. But what is worth the money is premium membership. It's only $10 a month. You're going to get far more for the $10 with our premium membership than you will with five other services combined. That is a straight-up objective fact. And if you don't believe me, just ask in the comment section. We have over 3,000 very happy customers. Who's a premium member right now? Let us know. A whole bunch of them. So we want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. You'll unlock everything you will ever need for not only this card, but then the three cards after this one as well. A couple are super Chatterouskis. You guys are unbelievably generous today. Maybe Jacob and I have to fight more often. Here's a $10 super chat. Uh, let me give some context if I can. Doesn't Max show up to your live streams, make bad bets, and then disappear so you call him names? Isn't that what happens? Uh, he did one time, yeah. I can't, yeah. He, but he had a valid excuse, I think, if I remember. He was, oh, I think he was watching Delay or something like that. He, um, so, I don't know. Yeah, but... he, he did say bets, and we were like, where's Max? Where's that stupid fucking idiot Max? <laughs> well, he donated $10. He said, I saw the fight. GJ Angelo? What does that mean? Oh, good job, Angelo. <laughs> well, why is the G capital and the J isn't? Good job, Angelo. Not bad. Good job, Angelo. There's no punctuation. The, the capitals Have you never read the before? Guys, saw the fight. I read with... Good job, Angelo. <laughs> Jacob, not bad, but don't ever call me a bitch unless you're spar me. All I want to hear is crickets. All I WZNT to hear is crickets. No punctuation. Three random capital letters. Thank you, Max. Genuinely appreciated. Then we have a 349 from the alcoholic. He says, reminder, Val is not six foot two. I mean, correct. Oh, shit. I didn't update this slide. Damn it. Fuck. He's 5'8". Oh, man. I remade so many graphics and I didn't swap them all out, did oh, I? Oh, my God. Strikes absorb per minute. My gracious. Well, that's because it's per minute. They extrapolate it uh, out. Yeah, that I fight, get it. I know how math works. That was, fight didn't uh, go. Okay. I was a business major. He gets how math works. And then another $10 from Jiffy. Tax returns are coming, so the community is giving back to the channel. So Jacob's dreams of relocating to the favelas can become favelas? a reality. Favelas? What Thank the fuck? Thank you very much. Yeah, that's what Jiffy. those $10 are going to I mean, we got, we got to bump those up 20 50 100 <laughs> Otherwise, it might be the favelas. You know what's funny is on the uh, – uh, you, you, you probably don't watch the embeddeds because you don't really give a fuck about, you know – building you know relationships with these okay. fighters you're about yeah. you know x's and o's but ian gary was on the embed and he i guess he just lives in uh brazil now he's been trading to shoot a box with charles and all those and i think the 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 uh limas are going to be in his corner they're his coaches now but anyway he was talking about being in brazil and the brazilian people and how he just loves brazil and he's going to live there forever and i was like oh my god He's living, he's living my dream, man. He's living my. He's got the Brazilian wife living in Brazil. He speaks Portuguese now. He's hanging out with Charles Oliveira. It's like Jesus. That is your life. We have a dollar ninety nine from Junior Ranks. I agree. UFC debuts have been pathetic recently. Yeah, they scared me away for sure. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Tito P. I'm a premium member. Give me a shout out. Saul D. Gen. Premium is definitely worth it. All right, we got to keep moving here. A dollar from Kane Stockdale. No Esa comment. Udo. What? Is it Udo? Oh. 
Thank you very much. Genuinely appreciate it. Fourteen ninety nine from Harpreet Singh, the best in the game. Jakey boy loved the picks this year. Fire. Jakey has and honestly, been on that fire. says Jackie boy, which is a little, <laughs> you know, you, you sent the fourteen ninety nine, so I'll let it slide. But don't, you know, Mister Singh, don't let it fucking happen again. Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah, we've been killing it. Yeah. I would be very hard pressed to find somebody. I mean, to start the year with four straight cards, Nobody. being up money, all four cards. I think with these cards, that's a tough ask, and I've I've done it for all four. So I literally and don't hopefully think people, anyone. and I think you have realized, but I think hopefully people have realized too that I've I've buckled in, I've I've yes. tightened up, I've tightened up the bets, I've been you know trying to be laser focused on the shit with the lock of the week this year and and the bets. I want to do some fucking monster things this year. Become a premium member, ten dollars a month. Did, um, Quinn with the nine ninety nine. Quint says he loves us. Well, we love you, Quint. Quint is a mod in the Discord and very generous in the live stream. So thank you very much, Quinty boy. He's a mod in the stream, too. Happy birthday. Okay. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.